Hey guys, just jumping back in a little bit early. We are in April, and of course that means our youth intake. We had a great youth intake last year. You guys were even very impressed. Uh, so here's a quick look. A five-star, three four-and-a-half stars, and then a couple of three-and-a-half stars. So probably not as deep as last year, and nobody that's ready to step into first-team action like Case. But this is the new crop of players, and as we did talk about a couple of episodes back, if you want any of these players to be renamed for you, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Patrick DeWall is a striker. Taking a look at his ratings here. Not the paciest, but hopefully that can improve. He already has solid finishing of a 14. Composure, decision making is all there. Six foot one, decent jumping. Heading will probably improve. So there you go. There's a striker if you're interested. Eric Hosnut uh, is a defensive midfielder. He can also play central mid, maybe center back. And right back, uh, five foot seven, not going to play center back. <laughs> Rephrase that. Pace and stuff hopefully improves with time. He's only 15. Look at the leadership on this kid. 15 years old with a 14 leadership. Teamwork, vision's already there. He's actually got pretty decent passing for his age. First touch, marking. There's some stuff there to like. He'll need to develop, but he could turn into something. Uh, Fritz Grizel, another center back, four and a half star potential, six foot one, so he can play center back. Heading needs to improve. Marking, tackling is already stellar. Look at the teamwork, work rate, determination, aggression. Not so sure that's a good thing for a center back, but. Uh, He's there, needs to work on his speed. Acceleration is a little troubling, and he's not strong yet. But again, he's only 15 years old. So all of these guys have holes in their game, but, you know, they can do something. And the last of the four and a half stars, probably the only ones you guys would be interested in, is another goalkeeper. And there you go. 15 years old, four and a half star potential. So, you know, 10 agility, communication is 13, that's good. Eccentricity is a 2, I like low eccentricity. Handling, kicking, one-on-ones, passing, so he could probably be trained up as a sweeper keeper pretty well, work on his passing, and uh, I think that would be a good thing. So we'll get these guys signed up. Uh, just out of curiosity how good these guys are, there's no pace but he has acceleration that could improve and he's got good technicals. We'll probably sign him and Abdul. Um, he can actually cross the ball. We'll probably sign him as well. I'll take a look at the three stars. It doesn't ha hurt to have them as depth. And then if we can sell any of them for any type of money down the road, that's always a good thing. All right, guys, we'll be back up for those final two matches momentarily. All right, here are the highlights against Sparta. We had to start Peter uh, Paul DeVries up top. Vicario has an injury that's going to keep him out for the rest of the season. A little flick on header. DeVries into the box, and he gets it across. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt it. A left to the right. Yeah, Big E. That's that goalkeeper's name. And then there's a pass picked out. DeVries runs onto it. Big E gets the block on it, but it bounces right back to DeVries, who slots it home for the empty netter. Two goals for him. We make that stand up, and that is a big win over Sparta. Uh, DeVries with the impression there. We're going to say he was superb in front of goal. And taking a look back at the last couple of matches, we drew 1-1 against Fortuna. Melvin Gerver, the new center back, the youngster that's gotten a few starts lately, he got a set-piece goal off a corner. FC 20 beat us 1-0. NEC, we beat 3-0. Olivier got a goal, and Natumba back from injury finally 
got a brace in the first half in that one. Gronigan, a 3-1 win. This was a huge win. We were really big underdogs. Quasi, Bacario, and Olivier with goals in that one. And then the 2-0 win over Sparta. So we have picked up nine big points in a row. 14 points out of our last seven matches. And in the competition, we are now sitting in seventh position. I do not believe that Den Haag can catch us. They are three points behind, but we have a 20-goal differential. We're at plus 12. They're at minus 8. Not sure they're going to win a game 21 to nothing to catch us. Or that we're going to lose by 20. I guess it's any combination, but I don't think either one of us are going to do anything by, you know, a 20 goal aggregate amount. So I feel pretty comfortable saying that we have clinched seventh position. Nothing's cast in stone yet, but that will be big because that, of course, puts us, according to the rules, which may not be right because we know the money's not right, but that does put us into the $10 million earnings spot which is big, but it also puts us into the European Places playoff, which means we will have some European action next year. Even if they're early, hopefully that translates into additional earnings that we can then use to boost the team. Uh, I do want to show you a couple of things before we get into the match. Let's take a look at our under-18 squad. And we're going to sort these guys. Well, we'll sort them by potential because that'll be the last couple of classes. So any of these guys that you want in the, that are in the U18s, those guys are available for you to pick on your name. Um, the 15-year-old and the, uh, let's see, DeWall, I think, was this year. Has not, has, Hasnut was this year for sure. I think Martino was last year because I've gotten bids on him this year. Gur was last year or the year before. Uh, Grizel was this year. Jeez, we're going to have to change that guy's name if one of you want. Somebody please take him just so I can change his name to something I'll likely be able to pronounce. Uh, but you can see we've got some really good talent and it's spaced out. We've got you know a couple of strikers, a couple of wingers, quite a few defensive players, a defensive mid, couple of goalkeepers. I think we're looking good for future development if we can develop these players. That's the big thing. I'm going to have to go in this offseason and look really hard. I don't spend a lot of time on my youth staff, but I think I'm going to have to go in and evaluate them pretty hard this offseason and see if we can make some signings there uh, to, to really boost up our development of some of these guys. Certainly not something I know a ton about. I usually let the game kind of progress with all that. But if you have any input or any good links for me to check out on uh, youth training or not setting up training per se, because I leave that to the game and the assistant manager. But, you know, if you have, you know, as far as how to get, you know, do we, I know it's kind of the rule of thumb on your senior club, just try to get the best staff and then that will help you get the best out of your players. And that's kind of the rule of thumb I go with. Is it the same thing? But anyway, there's your list of players. I did want you to see there were a few changes. I don't remember who they were, but you can go back and compare them. You see the guys we have not signed. But I did notice one of the guys had dropped down. Oh, it was this guy, Andrew Dirks. He was three-star. Uh, he came in, got a hat trick on his debut. Uh, so I, I guess that was his uh, the youth uh, scrimmage or whatever. He scored three goals because it's not in there, but he got a hat trick, got injured, and I noticed he dropped to two stars. Not sure if that's due to an injury. He's still a three-star uh, ability currently as a youth. So hopefully that goes back up. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I may have, you know, that injury may have cut short whatever career he might have had. So anyway, let's come back for the finale and see exactly how we end up. And uh, we can watch me get demolished by Ajax. 
All right, we are back for the season finale with Ajax. We're going to put Case in goal, very similar, but well, the same back line, including the young Gerber. Take a look at him. I mean, he is 17 years old. Uh, he has six starts. He's playing a 6-9-8, one player of the match, one goal, one assist. He's 92% passing, 88% tackling. I've been very impressed with that kid, and I think we've got our new – uh, center back partnership. Natev's only 24, so we've got a very young group there, and I look forward to seeing those two guys develop. Uh, Natev's one they've told me that, uh, you know, the coaches have said don't re sign. I re signed him. Um, like I said, he's playing a 704, two goals and assist, one player of the match. He could, you know, there's a few things he could do better, but he certainly has not hurt his cause. And he's been a very solid player for us since coming to us. So uh, I had no issue re-signing him. Uh, let me know what you think about him. Quasi, Olivier, Diallo, and Shedahol on the midfield. Natumba, Natumba and DeVries in at the top of the formation. And taking a look at our goal leaders. Only one this year has reached double digits, and it's not the one I would have expected. Of course, Natumba, 8 and 17. Uh, he's got an 809 XG, 10 and 15 with a 9.4 XG. Both have performed very well against their XG, but Natumba would have been a 33 game starter. He would have started every match had he not been injured. Stratoslav, seven goals with below a 6 XG. He was one that I struggled just to find a place. Which one of those two do I play? Which one do I get rid of? <sighs> if I had to go with it, I'd probably get rid of Stratoslav only because he's Ukrainian and DeVries is homegrown. Um, well, or at least he's you know from the Netherlands. I don't know. And, of course, Vicario, only five with a 6.17 XG, but he's got the most upside, so... He's the one I'd like to partner with in Natumba. With the injuries, it just has not happened very often this season. Hopefully my math was right and I cannot fall out of seventh position. We are expecting to lose. Ajax, I think, is in second in the table. I forgot to check. You probably remember. Because if it doesn't, if it's not something I'm actually looking at, I don't pay much attention. It's just how it goes. All right, we are in the blue and white. Oh, there's an interception. Uh, DeVries beat him, and he takes a crack. I thought the two defenders were collapsing on him, and I thought he could have slid it through to Natumba, but he did not. Let's encourage him. A lot of space there. And there's a shot. Case makes the save. Ten minutes in, still scoreless. We are playing all right. Nemeth throws it short, and it goes to a defender. All right. I still think that left back position is something we need to improve on. Oh, Diallo, nice. Shed a hole into the side netting. I thought that was going to be a poor play over there on that left wing. But he did a good job to recover. Oh, and this always has me holding my breath because I hate set pieces. I tell you what, though, defense, the, the defense has looked really good off of corners. I've seen a lot of cleared headers this year. And that's something positive, at least. Oh, a lot of guys there in the middle, but they have they cut down that channel that he's got to shoot into and cases right there. Oh, Diallo. Diallo played it back, but he played it too soft and it let them take the ball. All right, we're going to go with the demand more here. They are definitely controlling the highlights. Come on, boys. Keep playing tough. 
Keep playing tough. We've got tighter marking. There's a good foot stab, and it goes through. Big save by Case. He knocks it around the goal post. Does concede the corner, but it's better than conceding the goal. Another header out. Nobody runs on to it. Five shots, all on target by Ajax. You know, with a 100% ratio, you know it's just a matter of time. I thought Olivier got up onto that one, but it's not. Pio Polino makes the header, and it's his second goal of the season. I thought Olivier, no, I thought it was Shedahull that got up there, but he, he, he got beaten to the ball. That is disappointing. All right, we're going to have to bring it up to balanced here. We were going cautious. Okay, I don't know what that was. No idea. Oh, you know what I want to do? Let's collapse that a little bit. That's all good. We'll take that off. I guess we'll try this, and I want to turn that off. And we're going to dribble less. I just don't think we match up with these guys. So we've got short passing. So if we dribble less, maybe it just opens up our passing. Good compression there by our three of our four defenders. All right, Natumba. Oh, taken down. That was dirty. Send him off. It's a red card. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? We're going to go up to positive. We're going to go up to positive. We're going to try to give it a run. Good steal. Oh, Jegu gets on it. He gets on it. Natumba was off sides. He was looking for him, but smartly held up. Oh. Neteb gets beaten. Boy, they turned that on us real quick, didn't they? You'd think being a player up, we might have a little advantage here. There's DeVries. He's on it. Natumba. Play it through, man. Play it through. He lays it off. Shed a hole. Olivier shoots and it's in. Fourth goal of the season. And that was a blistering shot. I don't think the keeper even knew that was coming at him. I wasn't sure he was going to shoot it. Oh, that was brilliant. DeVries lays it off. Shed a hole with a nice cross into space. And he got one touch on it to control it and just blistered it. That was a brilliant equalizer. I am very happy with that. We're going to have to keep an eye on Olivier. Looks like he is knackered. Um, possibly pull him off here at the half. Uh, if we do, Sokalo does a very good job. He just can't pass very well. Slot boom, not as good defensively. But you know what? I think, I think we're going to do that. We're going to bring Sokalo on. And we'll make him a uh, ball-winning midfielder on defend. And you know what? I'm going to drop these guys back to pull back on, come on, pull back on support. And Quazy will drive him up to attack. Let's do that. Go to the dressing room. Pump the fist. Revenge. Revenge always works pretty good. We make the one halftime sub. Hopefully Olivier can come on next season. I think he's... I think <laughs> I had to stop when that happened. I was like, I was stunned. Uh, I think he is going to be really good, but he's really struggled to find his pace this year. And it could, you know, it, it was a... You know, he was a, a mid-season signing. So it could just be needing some time to bed in, you know. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, Nemeth. 
Nemeth stabs it out. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Yep, get it out, please. Thank you. Rolls it across midfield. Let's us kind of get our breath back for just a minute. Oh, that one goes into the wall. Let's encourage them. I'll be happy with the point, honestly. Be very happy with the point. I don't want to go attacking here. Maybe I should. Yeah, they're still controlling the ball. They're still... I just don't want to get out of position and give something stupid up. Come on. Stay solid. Stay solid. That wasn't solid. And he beats him at the near post. Oh, you just hate that. Getting beat at the near post is about the worst. But that was that's not the keeper's fault there. That's the back line's fault. Jegu got beaten. Yep, Jegu got beaten horribly on that one. I'm going to bring on Vandergoes. He's nervous. I'm going to give him a pep talk. Hopefully that helps him. No, nope, it didn't. He's still nervous. And Jegu is a is a good left back. I mean, he is the best left back on the club. But I just, you know, you can't make a screw up like that and not get pulled. You know, I don't care who you are. Shed a hole squared in. Oh, Diallo should have taken the crack there. He had a wide open shot. Oh, look at the fight for the ball there. Nothing came of it. Shed a hole out of position a little bit. Oh, there's a nice clearance by Vandergoes. That's what I want to see. Shed a hole's got space. And that's another botched pass. I think that's one reason that I've gotten so interested in the passing stat, just to try to have stuff like that not happen. Uh, They're going to have another player sent off. Second yellow, it is. My daughter's coming home with the baby, so there is going to be a lot of racket here in a minute. My apologies. Um, yes, we'll go positive. I can live with that. Let's demand more. We can do that. All right, let's go in. I want to make a sub here. I've got two yellow cards. Um, I'm going to take him off of defend. We'll move him to support. These guys are doing well. You know what? I'm going to go back to wing back attack here. I'm going to go back wing back attack there. What is Shedahol's passing? He's got a 14. There is no damn reason he should be screwing up like that. All right. Quazy is on a 6-3. He's really been struggling as of late. Suk is there. Justiana's there. He's 34. He can't run. He can't pass. He can't cross. He can pass. He can't cross. Boy, I'd like that veteran leadership, though. Suk, he's injured, but he's returning to fitness tomorrow. I'm going to put Suk on out there. Now, he is not, he doesn't need to be inverted. Yeah, he, he's left only, so we'll do that. You know what? Let's make Sakalo. I'm going to switch these guys here. We're going to make him the ball winning midfielder on this side. Keep him defend. And I'm going to make him a Mazala on this side. All right. Oh, come on. I hope that pans out. Shadowhull's tired, but Quazy was really hurting us. Just a 6-3 rating. We've got a header that goes on target. Oh, 
man, I cannot believe we're two men up. We've got to make something come of this. There's a good pass. Oh, good step over. He took a crack at it. Keeper made a great save, and Shedahol runs it out of bounds. How do you... How can you not control that ball? That's horrible. That is horrible. You know what? We got to go for this. We got to go for this. I'm going to raise the line. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come here. We're going to counter press immediately. And I'm going to I'm going to go to hit early crosses rather than box. But you know what? We're going to go back to run at defense again just to be more aggressive. We've got to just be more aggressive here. We've got a two man advantage. And they're just passing the ball around us. And we've got two. Look at this shit. Oh my God. How did he miss that? That was so lucky. So lucky. Six minutes. Sakalo plays it back, resets. There's Diallo. Sakalo. Oh, there's a through ball, and he bounces it in. It's Chris Natumba, ninth goal of the season. There's a big equalizer in the 85th minute. You know what? I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to be crazy. Come on. And we get one last highlight. It's into the box. Oh, the keeper makes the play on the long throw. I have not changed throw-ins, so they're throwing that long just by default. Case. Oh, no. Their guy, their guy beat... One guy beat two of our players. Gerber's way out of position. He's a center back. There's a block. Oh, it's got to set up a corner. I'll take the draw. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Clear it out. Don't blow the whistle. Give us another minute. Natumba. Natumba. Somebody give him a... Oh, it's tackled away. We get a point. I feel slightly done in. They were still the better team. They, they just had way more up front. Nothing we could have done with that. I'm still going to say well done. But if we can't beat them with nine men, we're never going to beat them with 11 men. And we do finish seventh, so let's take a look. Do they give us any... Oh, Ajax... Oh, hold on. They miss out on the title after a draw. Yes, that's good. I like that. Already guaranteed their highest ever league finish. One place above last year's eighth position. Shed a hole set for an assist bonus. Well, he won't reach that because we don't have any more games. We qualify for European places playoffs. That's awesome. Best ever finish. We get the $10 million. Oh, okay. So there's actually playoffs this year for the qualifying spots. And we get Vitessa. When does that take place? And it's a home and away. Okay. Well, I guess we know what the next episode's going to be. We'll be coming back for some playoff action and maybe qualifying for Europe next year. Okay. I thought this was like playoffs like in Europe already, but this is just a four team. Four team. Okay, so four teams in the hat, and the winner of that gets this third qualifying round. Okay, okay, that makes it makes more sense now that it's happening. All right, well, hit the like button, subscribe.
And we've got a playoff, uh, two-game playoff uh, next episode. I guess we'll show both matches. See you guys. Bye.